now I'll get into kind of the actual audition part because um, I'm sure some of you will want to hear any tips that I have um, because I see you know there's a lot of videos on YouTube that people do about their audition experience and literally everybody's audition experience is different um, I mean there might be some things that are the same but I mean people's actual experience could be different and you can learn from all of them like I have watched numerous videos on YouTube about people's um, experience in their audition and I was able to take something from all of them so figure I would lay mine out on the table so that people can do the same and kind of just explore around around YouTube and find whatever works for them so to start kind of off I come from a more of a dance background I haven't actually really danced as much as I used to um, in the past like two years um, since I've danced as rigorously as I did in high school um, just because college is super hectic and my college only offers beginner level dance classes and it's only for six weeks at a time um, every other semester so I don't get as to dance as often anymore. Everything is super like laid back. They're looking for pe for all kinds of people. They're looking for people who have had dance experience. They're looking for people who haven't had any dance experience at all. So if you haven't had any dance experience, don't freak out. So we got there. We left Twin Falls around like 5.15, 5.30ish. I wanted to get there between 8.30 and 9. My audition was at 10.30 and I had been hearing all kinds of different things about how many people show up like over an hour early so I wanted to be over an hour early. So we ended up getting there around 9 o'clock. Like, there were probably maybe 10 people there at 9. Um, there were not very many there to begin with and um, so we just kind of hung up for a little bit. Um, until the casting director came out and had us, you know, they brought out their little iPad that you sign in on, and uh, we gave, they gave us our number. Sorry, my throat is being weird right now, so if I sound like a frog, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, we waited for about an hour and a half. Um, about an hour before, um, maybe an hour before the actual audition started, um, they had us line up again in numerical order um so that they could measure us um, so we got in line i'm okay now <laughs> here's the thing that apparently disney does that i didn't realize um apparently they measure you shorter than you actually are because um and a couple inches shorter than you actually are at that um um because i'm five seven in real life um, and I told that even that is like a pretty good height um, to be well initially I was told that it's a really competitive height range but um, it turned out that that's actually a really good height to be uh, because you can be a parade performer and um, there's uh, a lot of fur characters in that height range yada 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 so that was a little more encouraging <laughs> to hear um, instead of hearing that I was in a really competitive height range. So, um, I got up there and they measured me and I'm really bad at converting inches to feet. So I didn't know what it was. So I went over and told my mom and she was like, that's my five. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, like I'm really? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, hmm, okay. And 30 rolls around and we went in. We split up into two groups, um, 50 and 50, approximately. Um, <clears throat> so we went into the room was really small, like was really small. I loved the choreographer that we had. Her, her name was Catherine, and she's like short um, and really like super energetic and super cute and funny. And um, everybody loved her, and I, I loved her too. So, and she was like, "Okay, we're just gonna learn a short little parade routine." Um, for those of you that had dance background, it's gonna be super easy for you. 
If not, then um, then don't worry about it. It's still super easy, all that stuff. So, which is true. It was all it was was just a cup, a few skips, a um, a jazz square, and a grapevine, and a three step turn. Um, so not hard at all. And it was only an eight count. And um, we did it a few times in the center. She taught it really slow, and she like went over it a lot so that everybody felt comfortable with it. We went across the floor a couple of times without the casting director in the room, just so we could kind of get a feel of how it was going to work. Um, so if you weren't comfortable with the dance at that point, don't really know what to tell you because you get you're given plenty of opportunity to practice it, and. Um, so there's really no excuse for not being able to get it. Um, so anyways, Amy was our casting director. She came in. <clears throat> and uh, so we went across the floor. So we did that once. Everybody went through and they called us into the center and we kind of sat, um, sat around the center. So I didn't think that I did bad. Um, so I don't know why I was freaking out so much, but... Um, you know, I heard people's stories about how they, they they did really well and they thought they did really well and they still didn't make it past that first cut. And that was like the one thing that I was super scared about was that first cut. So um, I was sitting there and um, the, like we were all in like our group um, that we had, our group of friends that we made out in the lobby. So we were all like looking at each other like, like, oh my gosh, like, I have to call my number, and, um, they called, like, the first three, few numbers, they got to nine, and then they called ten, and I was, like, really, like, hope, like, I was afraid they were gonna, like, skip over, because that's, in my past audition experiences, of, of course, those are, like, more complicated, more complex dance auditions, but, um, in my experience, I'm used to my number being skipped over, I was, like, nervous, you know. Um, and then they called Eleven, Nicole, and I was like, oh my gosh, and like, I looked at her and I like did a fist bump, and we were like super excited and like silently freaking out so that she could get through the rest of the numbers, and all, everybody else who had their number called was doing the same thing, and it was really funny to watch. Um, so then after she like concludes, she said, that's all we need from, from you to the rest of you, if you didn't have your number called, we feel free to go, and for the rest of you, we want you to just hang out here for a little bit. Um, we wanted to see more from you, so so after she got done talking, it was just like mass chaos, like everybody going to their friends and like freaking out, like oh my gosh, can you win? All that stuff. I was one of those people, definitely, because um, I was super excited. I was like, oh my gosh, I feel like I can breathe now. That was the only thing that I was worried about not getting passed, which I shouldn't have been, but I was. <laughs> so so yeah, so I made it, and I was really relieved and um the only thing that sucked after that was we had to wait around for like 45 minutes maybe we waited around for a while um and we went in, they took us into a different room and um we she had to spell out some paperwork um and then she we took it in back into her and we could hear like the, the other group like doing the combination in the other room next to us. Um, but anyway, so we then she called us up by in groups of numbers to give her the paperwork and to get a picture taken. Um, and so she took us really up close, and it was on her iPod, which I really hate when people use iPods to take pictures because I know what I look like on my iPod pictures, and I do not like it, <laughs> so um, I don't like that they used an iPod to take pictures, but whatever, so I tried to look my best, I had my hair up in a ponytail, um, so this is what my hair looks like, pretty much, a little less messy, but anyways. So yeah, they took up, she took one up close and then like a full body picture and then we waited around some more. We waited for the next group to come in and then she gave them the same speech belt paperwork and everything, um, had them do the same thing and then um, 
she had everybody come up and they remeasured us. And that time, I remember what my what they told me that time. So that was 65.25, which was by four. Um, so I was like, wow, did I really shrink during that time? And it turns out, you know, scientifically, that is how it works. Like after you've been moving, your spine actually compresses so you get shorter. Um, but still, so I was like freaking out. I was like, crap, does that mean I'm not like now I'm in another competitive height range? And um, one of the other girls was like, no, no, that's actually like if you're between 5'4 and 5'7, you're like on perfect height range. And I was like, right on, man. <laughs> like, um, so I was good to go there. Um, after that, we went in again to the other room and learned another combination. First, um, we did the animation, which was actually the one that I was more nervous about because I'm not as good at that. Um, I mean, I can do it, but it's not my forte. Um, but um, I was really nervous about the one that we were going to get because I've heard all different kinds of like scenarios like putting up a Christmas tree or opening a portal to go into like like one of the different lands in, in like Disney World or whatever. Um, so I was like curious to see which one we got. And she said, okay, so we're going to do two scenarios. Um, the first one is planting a tree. And I was like, okay. And then the next one was washing your dog. So we did we went through that. She let us practice a couple of times to kind of figure out our story. She's like, make sure you have a story in the beginning, middle, and end. Um, but you're not going to have a lot of time to do it, so you have to be able, be able to do it quickly. And then we went into learning the second routine. And they warned us, you know, this one's going to be a little bit more difficult, more technical, um, and it's longer. I was not super nervous because I'm used to this kind of thing, um, especially at dance conventions where you have to learn a really long combination, a really hard combination in a short amount of time. So I'm used to that. Um, so it wasn't difficult for me to pick it up. And especially considering the fact how many times she went over it and how slowly when she went over it made it that much easier for me. Um, so if you're like me um, and you've had dance background, then this is not going to be hard for you at all. Um, so you just have to make sure that you don't look bored um, and that you continue to look like you're you continue to smile look like you're having a good time one thing that I can stress for people who aren't dancers um, or you haven't had much dance experience um, don't lose that smile because the second that you mess up and you show it in your face that's gonna hurt you um, they want to see that you can keep a performance quality in your face the entire time. So even if you don't think that you're doing the dance really well or if you mess up, just keep smiling. Keep keep on keep on trucking because it's gonna hurt you if you don't. But this one was longer. It was probably about a minute long, um, and uh, it was really quick paced. Um, like once you, I mean, she taught it really slow, but once you did it with music, it was pretty fast paced. Um, so be prepared for that and towards the, for, towards the beginning it was more like just movement stuff and less like really I mean it was dancey but not like super technical dancey um, but towards the end was when like right at the very end it was just like a bunch of like technical dance stuff thrown together like there was a gotma into a shane into a saute into a drag step and a pirouette and then that was how you ended you ended like with a presentation so it was just like all of a sudden like whoa damn whoa damn <laughs> um yeah whoa damn you know what that came from i mean if it's difficult for you um i just can't i can't stress more how important it is to smile because all of the people we split up into when when amy the casting director came back in um, we were split into, so there were, there were people auditioning for the college program and, and there were people auditioning for general recruitment. So, um, when we went to actually, um, perform it for the casting director, they split us up into character for, um, college program 
and general recruitment. So I went with all the other CP auditioners, audition me, and um, they split us up into to groups of four or five in our height range. So they started with the shortest, and I was kind of in the middle, so I think I was the, maybe the fourth or fifth group to go. We started off, she had us pose, get ready for the um, first scenario, and uh, she said, plant your tree, and so we did our animation, and then, um, and then we, um, we finished and she counted five, six, seven, eight, and then we went into the combination. And then after that, she gave us a second to breathe. And then she said, okay, pose. And then we pose for your second scene. And then she said, wash your dog. And then when you start into your washing your dog animation. And then after that, she counted five, six, seven, eight. And then you go into the um, combination again. And then after that, you were done. And and like like you were done, done. Like you, were, you could leave after that. Um, they didn't have anybody stay behind after that. That was kind of like the last thing um, that they did. So if you made it past that first cut, you went through the whole audition. Um, <clears throat> at that point, it's kind of just a matter of them like taking notes of what they see in you, where they can put you, um, if they want to put you anywhere. I did that, and then we stood there and smiled for a couple of seconds, and then... She said, thank you, that's all I need, and, and we left, and, uh, and then my mom and I came back home, drove back home, and yeah, so overall, it was really fun, I made friends, um, we, <clears throat> we had a good time, and, uh, <clears throat> definitely, um, definitely a great experience.